In every show of this series, I'm going to teach you how to make some fantastic cocktails. Some you may have heard of, some you may not have. It's about an experience, so I'd like you to be able to go to your local watering hole and ask your bartender to make them, or I'd like you to be able to make them at your own home bar. So, what I'd like to show you is what a good stocked bar would look like. First of all, you're going to need some glassware, lots of different types, and we'll show you those as we go and make every different cocktail. You need some different spouts, some short pours, some long pours. Also, this is called a zester. It's kind of a cool little item to be able to make your garnishes with. Of course, a scoop, a couple different shot glasses, single and double, you need to be able to measure properly. Uh, then what you really need and what no good bar would be without would be a shaker tin and a shaker glass. This is how you make martinis. So, shake it up. All right, now once you're done with that, you need a strainer to be able to strain that. Now, if you don't have these separate items, a really nice item to have is on all-in-one. This is actually a shaker, tin, glass, and strainer all-in-one. If you can see that, you can pour. Very nice. Nice, classy item. Now, some things you're going to need to do is use a muddler. Now, this actually crushes certain things in your drink, such as uh, mint leaves. Uh, of course, your stir stick. You have your uh, toothpicks and your stir sticks. Uh, you need your maraschino chairs, etc., straws, and no good bar would be without the very cool looking umbrella. Now, drinks are great, and it really is about an experience, but drive safely. Right? We do not want you to drink and drive, so play safely and have a good time. We'll see you next time.